when you practice female retention, though, you will actually start to see the feminine side in the world, in, in your reality. You will see the feminine side a totally different way. You'll see that feminine energy totally different. Remember, that's a part of you, bro. That's a part of you. Okay. Too many guys, yes. You know, they, it's so weird, bro, because they think that they're masculine by, you know, being argumentative, but really they're not controlling their emotions. You know what I'm saying? And again, when you are in your emotions and you're ruled by your emotions and all you're, all you're thinking about is like, oh, you know what, this, that, and that, third. Again, there's a healthy way to be in your feminine state, okay? There, there is such a thing as toxic femininity. You know, as, mu as much as we hear about toxic masculinity, yeah, there's, there's toxic femininity as well. And I'm not just saying, you can't, you can't just say, oh, this is only in women. You be seeing toxic femininity in men. It's terrible, sad. You know what I'm saying? And you think you all like big and bad, but whole time, like, bro, you can't even control your emotions, let alone control your sexual energy. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I speak on this topic. And when you do practice retention, you will have a better understanding of just not only the masculine, but the feminine, how to treat the feminine, how to be in your masculine state, how to summon your, ma your, your, uh, hold on, expose myself, embarrassing, summon your, uh, masculine, I mean, did, you know how to like basically summon your feminine state and, and use that to your advantage. You have to balance out the energies. You can't have one without the other. You see what I'm saying? And that's what makes a, a man a real man. This is why women will fall deeply in love with you, man. You don't even understand what, what the type of shadow work that you do just by managing your own energy. I always talk about self-management as far as energy goes. And I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this in my life, bro. Like, this shit is crazy. I'm still doing shadow work, bro. I'm doing shadow work. I'm, I'm experiencing, you know, certain things as far as, like, different um, experiences, um, I'm learning how to utilize my feminine state, my feminine energy. I'm learning how to utilize that and balance that out. Because again, you can't, you have to have a balance. Like, yeah, you're a man and you typically you, you're going to be more in your masculine state because you have more testosterone, but we can't disregard or look at the feminine energy as like, Oh, that's negative. And if you're in your feminine energy, um, even for a little bit, that's weak. You're showing that you're weak. It's it's a weakness. Like, so you trying to say that women, all women are weak? You know what I'm saying? If you talk about the feminine state, the feminine energy is very powerful and it's very manipulative too. Okay, you have to go within. For in, in order for you to do shadow work, you have to go within. We go in, that's that's being feminine. You go, you, you, you express yourself, the outer self, that is your masculine. Inhale, exhale. You know what I'm saying? Yin yang. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's crazy. Everything goes hand in hand. So you can't sit here and just be like, oh, this, that, and third. This has to be a balance. There just has to be a balance. 